to start our second deployment of our pilot propagation study, where we are putting Delta Smelt out on the islands in our cages, and we're working with UC Davis, our partners with USGS, Department of Water Resources, and U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and hopes to study Delta Smelt and how best to culture them out in more naturalistic settings. The Delta smelt are listed as endangered both uh, state and uh, federally. We hope by using these impoundments to be able to produce enough fish and we will have like sustainable numbers. Currently, they're trying to supplement the species by taking hatchery fish and introducing them into the wild. If the Bolden Islands study is successful, it could be used to inform our partner agencies and their efforts to culture Delta smelt. Right now, all the cultured fish are in tanks. Very sterile environments, uh, everything's very controlled. The technical expertise you need to man them and operate them, plus the equipment is really intensive and actually quite expensive. So that's why we hope to be able to reduce uh, the manpower to raise these fish by using uh, more natural settings uh, like the impoundments. Using ponds is a low cost, uh, and a very effective way of culturing delta smelt in much larger capacity. You can scale those up much more quickly, much easier than you could these tanks. We've already had a primary deployment in November, and then we ended it in January. They did very well, they survived, they had some pretty good growth, a lot of great things. So I think we've already demonstrated this is successful. And our plans are to try to leverage that success, uh, look at other islands and see if those impoundments might be useful, as well as other impoundment designs. We have a lot of ideas of what we can do for this. I, I'm proud to be a part of a research project that is meaningful and that has also like uh, very direct consequences for a fish population. That's a pretty exciting thing to try to support Delta Smelt out here in the wild. It's dynamic, they get day-night activity, it gets cold at night, it gets warm during the day, you have the winds, everything for them to eat naturally. If we want to use Delta Smelt in the wild from the hatchery, we've got to give them all the tools for them to thrive and do well. And this is a way to do it.